Hi, this is Kristen Pedia with Sunshine Reviews free tutorial series. And in this tutorial, we're going to be discussing how to create, format, and place categories. And in addition, how to create subcategories. The first thing that we're going to do is open up a new tab, and you're going to see I'm already in the edit mode with a blank text box. Now, first I'm going to just show you what a category looks like. A category is very similar to an internal link. It starts off with double brackets, and then you're going to type category in colon mark. And then you can do whatever category you'd like. So for instance, we can do video tutorials. And I'm going to close it with those double brackets. Now this time when I click on show preview, something you should notice is that it doesn't pop up up here. It'll be all the way at the bottom. So you can see it highlighted. Now, categories are always placed at the bottom of a page. So for example, we would have our intro paragraph, we'd have more paragraphs, uh, juice of the story, so I'm just going to go ahead and write juice. We might have some templates, which we'll discuss in a later tutorial. And then at the very bottom, we'd have category. One nifty trick, though, is to know how to link to a category when you don't want it to be a category. And to do that, all you need to do is type in colon mark before category and video tutorials. Often when you do that, you'd want to just type in a pipeline too and write video tutorials so it looks like a normal link. I'll show you in show preview. So you can see it'll come out as just video tutorials, but that's only when you want a category to not be a category. Now, a lot of people will ask me if it's possible to add more than one category to the bottom of your article, and yes it is. However, you can't just add it to the same article, or same category I should say. You have to create an all new tag. And to do that, we're just going to do category webinar, and we'll do category categories. Now. This time when I click on show preview, you're going to see again nothing pops up up here, but all three of them will be down here and you'll see two of them are red. Essentially what I've just shown you is how you can create a new category. You just have to type it in and see if it's there. Now, when you're formatting a category, make sure you always capitalize the first word and any proper pronouns following it. Anything else should be lowercase. Now, a lot of people wonder how they can find out which category they'd like to add to a page. To do that, we're going to go ahead and visit Special Pages. It's going to be down here under Toolbox, and it's going to say Special Pages. You're going to see the first section is a bunch of maintenance reports. But under a list of pages, you're going to find categories. This has every category that's on the wiki, and you can see it gets to be quite a high number. So sometimes I would just search. Even better, though, is to look at similar articles. For instance, if you're going to write about a county in Florida, if we go and visit this one, this is Calhoun County, Florida. And what we would do is we'd want to visit the bottom of this article. I'll go ahead and zoom in some. And you're going to see the two categories that fall into it. One is the status of the article, and one is the subject. So you can also see that categories play a different role. Now, this is the category page for Florida counties. You can see it has every county in Florida. And this helps organize the wiki, and it's also how some people navigate in it. What you're going to notice up here is also there are subcategories. So this is starter class, rated, partially rated, you can see how you can use this to track the projects in a wiki. Now, how to create a subcategory. Let's go ahead and go back to our sample article. All right, so you can see here we had two red ones. What I'm going to do is go ahead, I'm going to save this page. And once it's saved, you're going to see that there's these categories. I'm going to go ahead and click on a red one. 
Now here's where you can describe what goes into this category. So for this one I'm going to write in users who join us for Wednesday webinars. After that I'm going to want to add a subcategory to this page, something more general. So maybe I will type in the category again for video tutorials. And I'll close it with those double brackets. Now, when I do show preview, you're going to see that here's my description. Here's the article that belongs in this category. And you're going to see down here that there's another category. I'm going to go ahead and click on Save Page. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on the category Video Tutorials. And you'll see that Webinar now shows up as a subcategory for video tutorials. Categories can be used in a number of ways, including dynamic page listings, which is another later tutorial, and a number of other ways. So if you have any other questions concerning categories, please join us for one of our Wednesday webinars. They are every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Central Time. And if you found this tutorial useful, please consider contributing to Sunshine Review. Like I said, we have lots of other tutorials, and I hope you check them out and enjoy them. Thanks.